If you want the tea, I can get with seriously. Talking about your favorite web series. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Seriously Podcast. I'm Brittany. I'm Mary. Today we're continuing our re. No, ending. we're ending. It's come to an end. Yeah. Of this amazing series, Giant Season Two. I they mean, had us for a minute because we thought episode six was it. I thought that was it, but they gave us a, another they one. Shook the table. They shook the table. They said we ain't done. We ain't done. We, and ain't we got done. an hour for y'all. What's an up? hour and ten minutes. Don't forget that ten I'm minutes. Never ever forget about those ten minutes because a lot happened in those ten minutes. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm saying this whole season was just amazing. <laughs> oh my god! Exceptional, eye opening. It made me think about my life. Oh yeah. It made me think about the people around me. Oh yeah. Everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah. So we're gonna finish it up and recap this finale, and let's get to it. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so what we gonna do is go back. What we gonna do is go back. Picture it, guys. <laughs> the year nineteen ninety six. Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> We got Malachi's daddy teaching him how to wipe the car down. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. Wipe, wipe it down. down. Wipe it down. <laughs> a mess. Um, dad teaching him, you know, take your time, take pride in your work. Yes. Just a beautiful moment beautiful. between father and son. Yes. Connecting. I love it. And then we go to present day. Yep. And Malachi is handing over the keys to... Um, the guy who been eyeing this car since the funeral. He said, can I have the keys to my can car I? now? <laughs> Why are you still have the keys? <laughs> Why are you still in my car? If like, you could just <laughs> hop out so I can hop in. Like, sir, <laughs> can I have one last minute with it? He <laughs> zoomed <laughs> off the block. This is very special to me. Okay, but I paid for it. So if you could so just. So if you could just. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. He zoomed the top down like what? Mm. Officially sold. Yeah. And Malachi got that five thousand, but he can't do nothing with it. He had to transfer it That's right away. It, but why he only asked for five thousand? I would have, yeah, I would have put a little, little bit, bit more. more. That was a nice looking car, especially since the predicament he's in. Like five thousand for Walter, and let me that get guy another has three thousand like for for a minute. So, so you really want it? Let me get a little ten thousand for the 10, car. Let me get a little ten thousand extra five. Extra five. This for is that. a classic, right? Okay. You, what you want to? You want this car? He should have sold it. He like should've. really upsell. Come on, Malachi. I ain't thinking. But he was a finance major? Okay. <laughs> but maybe something's maybe wrong with the car. Maybe there's some, though. like, the car facts. It's maybe. only worth 5000 We don't know. Maybe he did ask for money. We just didn't see that. We only thought no. he'd give away 5000 He only got the 5000 yeah. I try to give him <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> Next scene, we got a day. He needs to open up a YouTube channel for this hair. <laughs> Braiding his hair like he's Come doing on it. with the R. Kelly braid. R. Kelly, R. Kelly braid. No. <laughs> Was that R. Kelly? That's no, it was not. It was a Mario. No, no, who was the it? other one. Who? Say you just a friend, Mario. Mario. It was Mario. You right. said R. Kelly, girl. Scratch get, that, Brittany. Get your music together. <laughs> So a day, you know, he called Quasi. He ready to meet up. Quasi did say, when you get your life together, holla at me. Holla at your boy. And the day, you can see he's in a different spirit yes. now. Like, he's not as serious as he used to That's be. That's true. He's always like, hello. He's like, yeah, girl, what's up? Like, yeah. Oh, who's this? <laughs> he's like, I ain't got no roommates no right. more. Like, he, he knew new. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm happy for him. Of course. He needed this. He did. So then we go to Journey, and she's meeting up with her dad, and trying to tell him everything that's going good in her life. New job, new this, new mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. And yeah. the dad's just kind of like, mm, okay, that's cute. What do you want? <laughs> I know <laughs> the only reason why you come over here is because you want something. Yeah, you're my daughter. I know you. I know you. I know you. So she's like, all right, I want you to sign, co-sign a lease. He said, you tried it. You, you tried it. Hell to the no, no. He's like, you too risky for me. Like, he started bringing out the receipts. Like, oh, yeah. what happened to this? What happened to that? Like, look at you. Like, and you want me to sign an uh, apartment for you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't. Mm-mm. I can't. I can't risk it. Mm-mm. He said, what about that that little boy that you, <laughs> you playing with? You playing? That, that, that friend of yours. <laughs> you can tell this dad does not like Malachi. Right. He don't. I don't think he likes any guy. Probably He's probably not. one of those for, like, protective fathers. Like, mm-hmm. no, you know, no guy's good for his princess. Actually, no, Daddy, I am not living with Malachi anymore. And if you can't tell that I'm different or that this whole situation is different, then I don't know what to tell you. I'm a new me. 
Yeah, yeah. But what I can say is that Malachi has always had my back, unlike you. And what? And she left. Mm. Let the dad to ponder. Yes. Mm. So obviously she has some issues with her dad. Yeah. Daddy so lessons. Daddy lessons. <laughs> Cue Beyonce. <laughs> So then we go yeah. back. We go back again. This episode, we're going a lot of back and forth. Oh, present, yes. past, present, past. And I was wait, we was waiting for this throwback. We've been asking. And we they said, answered. we need more. He said, all right, we got y'all. We got y'all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we go back to 2007, Before Florida. the natural hair movement started booming. Because <laughs> Journey had, is rocking na- straight hair. <laughs> and you know, this show is all about natural hair. Yes, yes. Before the movement. Before the movement. The liberation. <laughs> So he's trying to do the small talk with her. He cooks for her, like oh, you know, trying to put on a little game. Mm-hmm. And she's just like, "What are you doing?" Yes, like called, I know, them out. I know your type. Like mm-hmm. all alphas are the same. All y'all want to do is smash. You're a hoe. You're a hoe. I know who you are. You're a line so stop brother. trying to be you a line brother. You're a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, come on. And he said, if that was the case, I would have did that sophomore year. Like you know, you different. Mm. As they say. As they, they always want to say, you different. Oh, of course I'm different. Of course. I'm a different human being. <laughs> <laughs> you're not making me feel special by saying, you're different. <laughs> Journey's not one of those girls like, oh. Like, she's not impressed. She's not easily impressed. No. Malachi says, you know, you remind me of my dad in, in a lot of ways because he calls him out as well. Yes, yes. So that was, I think, I think that's another reason why Malachi likes Journey so mm-hmm. much, you know. And um, then it got awkward because she she had mentioned that her mom had passed. And it was just real silent. Because what do you say next? I've had those moments. (laughs) Like, what can you say? So, how's the collard greens? Like, (laughs) you can't say anything. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, I thought you were telling me that. No. (laughs) That's what I would have to say. Wait, I'm going to go to the bathroom bathroom real real quick. quick. Like, come on. So, and then she's like... um, and she's like, since he ain't got the words, she's like, I like that about you. Like, you just being yourself, you're not thinking ahead. Like, so he's like, so you like me? I guess. I guess. You want to put words to right? it. <laughs> like, you read into <laughs> deep into it, I guess. So she's like, you know, she, he li- she likes him 43%, but that 57%, he's too self-involved. Mm. I said, I see that. He's controlling, and um, she starts talking about his style. He starts taking off his clothes, and he's just trying to be—he's trying to be that guy. But she's falling for it. Of course, so they end up. <laughs> they end up um, like making out or whatever. They went from her saying what she doesn't like about him to them smashing. Yes, what? <laughs> what? So they in bed, and he implies that um, they about to be an item. But she like hold up. <laughs> What's happening here? Like, what do you mean? Like, the last guy I was dealing with low-key played me because everyone on campus knew we were together. Except for him. (laughs) Basically, everybody on campus knew that we were together. Everybody knew that, that we were dating. But um, we didn't really get that title. And so, like, that would always come up when he would get into some shit. You're not even really my girl. So I just really don't want to make that same mistake again. And... I just kind of want to know what you're calling this, like, just so we're on the same page. What is this? Like, let's try to get on the same page. Yeah. Clarification, which everybody needs to do in the beginning Mm -hmm. of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to establish boundaries. Yeah. What are we doing? What's the goal? What is the goal? Right. And he's like, I mean, we dating. Right. All of a sudden. Um, <laughs> right. I mean, it just happened. But so. I, I start an internship next week. And... Um, it doesn't Kinda, make sense. Yeah, it's irresponsible of me to start something official and then leave. But people don't want to do long distance relationships, I right. realize. So he says, you know, he does want this to work and he wants her to be a part of his plan. So, you know, they agree to both be honest with each other. And, and then he says, note, he says, I'm going to call you every <laughs> night. I'm going to text you every day. Yeah. Video FaceTime. Remember that, Yeah, y'all. he did. He said I'm that. I'm going to do that. They both agree to, be, to they communicate. They promise on it. And be honest with each other. Yes. Present day. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... James Bland out here really enjoying giving no. the girls and boys something to dream about. He he loves. He's a good thirst trap. I swear to God. Oh he my is. God. He's like, in which scene can I <laughs> be naked. go nude? 
Because I know the girls and boys are filling the kids. The so. writing, every writing table. So how about episode four? No, it doesn't no, fit. No, too, too early? Okay. Okay. What about now? Now? Okay, let's do it. When can I thirst chat? When? I'm just waiting. <laughs> and how long can the scene be? Right. Could, can like, we go a full, like, two minutes? Because I get out the shower and I don't go for my towel immediately. No, 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 I'm no, 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 I'm going to check no. myself in the mirror. Text on my phone. Text on my phone. Then slowly grab my towel. And then I want to take it off across again. Across the bathroom. It's yeah. not, like, right no, no, next no, to no, the no, shower. No, 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 okay. no, 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 mm-hmm. no, <laughs> no. Loves to give the girls and boys something to look at. Go ahead. Go ahead, James Bland. <laughs> So, um, so, so he's blowing Journey up and he, mm-hmm. cause he's like, all right, you know, cause they're best friends. It's like, yeah. we really going to end it like this. Right. Like, you know, but I don't think, did any of those types want to say like, I'm sorry? No, it's like, I've been calling you, you big doing? head, <laughs> but that's, that's men, men. Let me talk about it all the it's time. W-I-D. W-I-D. <laughs> hey stranger. Like what? What? Guys love just pulling up like nothing happened. Nothing happened. That, he's a, he's good for that. Y'all going to learn about that later on. <laughs> he's good for acting like nothing happened. Nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. What's up? It's a brand new day. What's happening? So he's like looking for a shirt and then he finds the t-shirt that a day had gave him for his birthday. Yeah. And so we go back again. <laughs> we go back. Now we in 2009. We done, we done jumped two years later. <laughs> when the day first fell in love. Ooh. Okay, instant connection, he instant was a, friendship. He was a fan from the beginning. From the My jump. God. He saw him walking the tree. He said, oh, uh, uh, excuse me, sir. Take do a you flyer. Want a, a flyer? Because <laughs> he worked at the Froyo spot. Yes. He and, said, take a flyer. Come taste some. What's, what's your favorite flavor? Mm-hmm. Come on in. They hit it off immediately. 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 It was a mutual hit off, mm-hmm. like instant connection, friendship, relationship, Maybe romance. We don't know. <laughs> 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 and then also... Um, he he uh, was at a poetry type of slam, if you will, <laughs> with a day. He was a whole tap full deep <laughs> brother, rocking a dashiki. dashiki, snapping the fingers. Oh my god, he had the fans with him. Yes, they love the, the work. His they little inner the circle was so mm-hmm. focused on him working because mm-hmm. this is when he was recording his demo. Mm-hmm. And um, so at this point, Journey is blowing him up. And so we are two years later. In. We're still two years. Okay, two years. We are two years later. This whole timeline. So I oh, know, maybe this it whole was timeline down. confused the hell out of I me. I was confused. I didn't know if we present, past, future. Yeah, because this is two years, right? But maybe this is two thousand and seven. Because why would she? That's what I'm saying. This. I think that was a typo. That two thousand and seven was a typo. <laughs> Or oh, this 2009 because that's so confusing. Because why would she be pregnant two years later? I don't know yeah. for sure. Remember, she had said by the third week we stopped talking. So I think this is 2007, this poetry slam. So how was a day here? I think the whole thing was 2009. 2009 was a typo. Yeah, one of them must have been of a typo. Because why would he be in Indiana two weeks, two years later? Yeah, that's why I was just so okay. confused. So and no one peeped them. No. no. One so it them says, on. all right, y'all. So it does say 2009, but we think it's still 2007. We, it has to be 2007 because but. now we see they're, they're at the poetry slam mm-hmm. and Journey's blowing his phone up, and you know they're vibing to the to the poetry. But the, but the producers like, nah, nah, nah. We're gonna keep it going. Yes. We're gonna keep it vibing. So mind you, I said okay. I'm not gonna answer my phone. So at what point? Why are you picking up my phone? That's what fans do. It's. <laughs> Who, are you my receptionist? That's what fans do. They no. do the absolute most. Doing the most. That's what they do. They <laughs> insert themselves into your life. No one asked you. She said, hello, yeah. Um, Malachi can't come to the phone right now. Okay. <laughs> Just let it ring. I would have been like, yo, chill. He's in, he's, he's in full deep. I told you about that. <laughs> he's all into his poetry right now. Maybe him and that girl were like dating. She's a fan. <laughs> Groupie. Where are we? Then we go to present day. Oh. And Malachi is, he's still hitting up Journey. She's just not trying to hear him. Um, and she's over it, really, because she sees him hitting her up and she's like, this guy. Like, I don't even want to talk to him. <laughs> and you see, um, a day is kind of like, he hit my line. You peeped that, right? I hit, I, <laughs> he went from, yes, bitch, we about to get you to this apartment to, he ain't calling me. <laughs> That fool. <laughs> <laughs> so let him to think about a memory of him mm. and um, Malachi. They getting down upon their living room, huh. dance floor. You know, good vibes. Only these two. Good vibes, mm. right? 
Doing the stanky leg. Stanky too. leg, teaching them, all that stuff, okay? So, Malcolm must have forgot a day was a dancer, okay? Because he got served. And <laughs> he does this, okay? <laughs> this is light work for him. So, Malcolm's like, you know what? I see how you move. I need, you need to be a dancer. You can do it, right? Mm hmm. So and um, spoken motivation, spoken right motivation, spoken and they like, <laughs> they like, but this dude alone, so f those dude alone. I felt that in myself. No, he was, he became alpha right there. F those dude alone. He's a, he's a I want, I, fraternity I, I, boy. Those student loans, just I don't want to talk about student loans. He's like, you better, you better pursue your dream. Yes, he said, like, go for it, go for it, stand up, say it with your chest. And in his ear, that woke a day up. He said, like, oh yes, daddy, uh, stop, stop. <laughs> But I think Ade was confused of what the it was when he heard him. <laughs> no, Malachi saying go it for it. Turned him on because you can be a so... dancer, but he's thinking go for it. Okay, kiss me. Go for your dream. But he said go for me. He said pursue your dream. You are pursue my dream. Pursue me. So right. I pursue you. <laughs> I, you just told me to go for it. So next thing you know, Ade kisses him. I yes. fell out when I was watching. I said I, said, I, I, ooh, I was ooh, frozen. I said, ooh, I was frozen for like a good minute. I stopped. I was just like, wait, wait, wait. I said, like, wait. And so I said, wait. Malika just act like nothing happened. Literally. And so now it makes sense to me. I'm like, that's why a day always thought, what if? Because that um, moment was never spoken about. Never talked about it. So when he was with Quasi, he was like, um, I can't let go yet until I Because I really know. don't know. Yeah. It's been 10 years later, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know because a day was also fighting, you know, his sexuality. So he's probably thinking maybe Malachi is doing the same thing and I just have to be a little bit more patient. Right, right. But no, no, no. Or but is it, but you know, Malachi know. is different because any other guys, you know, they would like punch the day or That's something what I'm like saying. that. Like that was never spoken about. So he probably thinks that he still had feelings for him in some mm-hmm, way. Mm-hmm. Because any guy would have been like, Yo, bro, what are you doing? That's bro. not me. Like you, my friend, bro, I, you I, know. Right here. We but right not here. here. <laughs> but not here. Not ever. Not that ever again. You still my dude. But not that type of dude. Now let's go to the club. <laughs> let's hit the club. Let's don't try that again. I'm going to be with the baddies in the VIP. <laughs> you come with me if you want to. But just know I'm not rocking that way. Not that way. But you still my bro. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um, so yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Go so ahead. That was interesting. That was interesting. I was not ready for it. At all. Twitter was going crazy about it, too. Oof. So, Journey is stressed about this whole not talking to Malachi thing. And her friend is like, y'all annoying. I'm, right. I'm tired of hearing about this. <laughs> he loves you down. And y'all always end up talking again. So, stop playing. Like, yes, I'm tired of this. Yes, You remember when he went off to internship? I think it was like my junior year. Yeah. Girl, I can count on one hand how many times that nigga reached out to me while he was gone. By like the third week, we didn't talk at all. After some bitch picked up his phone when I called him. He would do dumb shit. Like he would send little text messages just randomly. Like, I'm thinking about you. And I just wouldn't respond. So she thinks back to a time. And what year was that? <laughs> that was still 2007. Seven. Yeah, okay, we never left so 2007. That was a typo. Yeah. So this guy, this is that guy that she had mentioned to Malachi. What's his name? Boogie, Booby, Dolo, something. What was his Dolo. Name? <laughs> it was like Boogie, 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 something. Booby, Boo Boo. So, um, <laughs> he's a Lawrence. I said Lawrence. You knew her in two thousand seven. <laughs> So she got a type, okay? <laughs> she got a type. Is that not Lawrence? No, no, Lawrence is my man. You're so editing, next so. scene. <laughs> <laughs> so you gonna stop being you. <laughs> I'm just living my life, Lawrence. Okay. What up? Um. So, <laughs> so Boogie's with her. He tore his ACL. ALS. ACL. He got injured. I don't care what. He, I don't know what he did. <laughs> he got injured, and you can tell they have that. You know that love for each other, mm-hmm. if you will. His mom even loves her. So like she's they taking have. Care of him. She's taking care of him. Like I'm gonna have you back. 
So he starts saying the sweet nothing. The sweet nothing. She said, I'm going to take this ice pack and go on. <laughs> but he's all, but I need you. Sweet nothings is so what So if you could is. just leave. You've always been there for yeah. me. Yeah. Sweet nothings is what that is. It's sweet, but it means nothing. nothing. And she knew that. Yeah, she did. But her they mind was telling her no. But her did. body, her body was telling her yes. So they had sex. <laughs> they got down real quick, y'all. Real quick. <laughs> so next thing you know, he's trying to leave in the middle of the night. But did you notice he was moving like he was not injured at all? He was like, oh, where's my... Oh, my knee. Like, barely. 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 I like, thought you were you, hurt. Are you hurt? Where's your crutches? <laughs> Y'all standing up, bending standing down, doing up, cartwheels. Standing down, doing it all. <laughs> and he was like, oh, my knee. <laughs> um, and then, okay, so he's getting dressed ready to leave. And um, Journey's like, where are you going? He's going to say in the most nonchalant, unbothered the time, voice. nonchalant. Like, the whole time. He said, like, yeah, my girl going to surprise me. Where's my watch? <laughs> she back at the hotel. Have you seen my watch? I know. I put it in here somewhere. So, and, <laughs> Journey is so confused. Like, well, I was confused. The room is spinning. She's like, what is happening What are you right saying? Can you, what is there to explain? I can't find my watch. And my girlfriend is waiting for me. Do you know where it is? <laughs> She's like, you were just crying about you needing me, and now you have a whole girlfriend? Yeah, not, no, he said, you have a whole girl. He said, not girl, girlfriend. <laughs> what don't you get? Do you know where the watch is? <laughs> I mean, you're my college sweetheart. I love you. You're my ride or die, but your camp is bad. Just every nigga wants to be with you here, and that's fine, but I'm in a different place. Now everybody expects me to be with a, a video bitch, you know? And some niggas marry the college girl all the time, but they cheat. I wouldn't want to keep you putting through that, all right? You're cheating right now. So he loves her. She's his ride or die. Yes. She She's the most, like, popping chick on campus because all the guys want to be with her. Yes. But I don't want to be with you because I might cheat. He did say that. But you're cheating on your girlfriend right now. He is doing that. Copy. Copy. Yeah. I just wanted to clarify. Okay. But have you seen The Watch? <laughs> That's the main. He's like, when I go out of town, my girl packs condoms for me. So this girl, she's not wrapped too tight either. She she knows what position she she is in. She's just but there for the money. <laughs> Clearly, um, there for the money. But what money? He tore his ACL, and once you do that, that's it for you. That's it for you. Mm-mm. She was there for the fame, the money. For the fame and the money. But guys, that's crazy though. He's like, I was expected to be with a certain type of chick. Like probably a video. Ch- He's had yeah, video a chick. video chick. So, and I like I love you, I, you but you amazing. Come on, you seen the the show, the game? Like <laughs> you seen what you goes know what down? I have to, come on, come on. Come I don't want to cheat on you. I don't want to do that. I like you too much. I respect you too much. Sure. <laughs> but I respect the girl that I'm with because yeah. she knows what's up. She knows what's up. Okay. And so Jeremy's like, "That's cute or whatever," but we didn't use a condom. <laughs> So yeah, that's why I trust you. <laughs> this guy. So you know for the watches? <laughs> <laughs> she said, Here's your damn watch. Here's your watch. <laughs> she should have kept that watch. She should should have. Because that probably was like a rolly or Talk something. Talk about it. Kept it. That's what kept I thought she was doing. It. it was under the the. <laughs> it was um, under the pillow, like. It's been here. Yes. You never looked in this area. But see, this journey, I guess she was different in college because the journey we know today, she would have broke his crutches in half. <laughs> she would have threw the watch out the window. Mm-hmm. Like, she just, I mean, she went off on him, but I, she should have did more. I would have yeah. did more. So. Because you ridiculous. She ends up pregnant and she had to confess to, to Malachi that she slept with her ex. Because mm-hmm, she don't know if it's his. Who's the daddy? Mm-hmm. And, you know, know, he's upset. Like, come on, but I text you. <laughs> One time. <laughs> but I text you, though. Remember I text you? That, that's why you didn't answer. What the time say? that I text you? <laughs> thinking about you. Okay. Not, hey. How are you? I miss you. What do I even say to thinking about, to thinking about you? Oh. oh. That's it. <laughs> oh. What do you want me to say to that anyway? So, yeah. That night when you that one time you text me, yes, I was with him. <laughs> yeah. So what do you what do you, what what what? <laughs> so 
She goes into a deep depression. Is that what happened? Yeah, she goes seven, into a depression. She was. Days of it was depression? five days. Okay, I wrote seven. And it was five days, and she was in the bed all the day, all the um. So this is when it started. Yeah, I think this is when the depression started. This was the traumatic experience. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because obviously, you know, she's not ready for no child. And then both of these ba- prospective fathers are inconsistent. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was like she, you know, she didn't want to do one that. One is not around because. Which one? The athlete. Yeah. And then. The and other trash. One, and trash. And the other one is mad. Yeah. So it's like, what And And he really doesn't he's keep not, he's, his promises. He's not a communicator as well. Mm-hmm. So I think she got the abortion, right? Yeah, she got the abortion because she ended up taking like the pill afterwards and mm-hmm. stuff. And he what, was there for her though. And that's what I liked. Even though he they weren't talking, he still like flew back to be with her and like console her. Yeah. So you can tell this is kind of where their friendship strengthened too. Yeah, but at the same time, he didn't see her the same way anymore. No. Because once... The abortion was over. He was like, all right, so I got to go. Yeah, I'm going to head out. <laughs> he kept his distance. Because he's still mad. Because this is what we were talking about with the whole, you didn't wait for me. We wondered. Yeah, th- this is what he's talking about. Yeah. So now we see. Okay, brother. What you mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> they just started dating. Yeah. And then the next week, he left for an internship. So you, right. So and- he expected her to wait for him. But you didn't talk to me. And you told me it didn't make mm-hmm. sense for us to be committed. Yeah. You were the irresponsible one, if anything. But I guess, like, what do you want me to, what do you mean? This was the cause and effect of everything. So. This was, it was deep, though. It was. It was really deep. <sighs> it's a lot of crying in this episode. It was an emotional episode. Mm-hmm. She doesn't have a heart, guys. <laughs> 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 she doesn't have a heart. Guys. She doesn't have a heart, guys. This is very emotional. So this is when it started. So, mm-hmm. but also at that point, we don't know whose baby it was, right? No, she we never. Don't. Okay, we don't know who baby that was. Yep. So we go to present day, and Malachi and his mom and his sister are all in the living room, just thinking about their dad and how he was and how it is not the same anymore. Mm-hmm. And at this point, Malachi just gets emotional. And he breaks down. Back then, all I had to ask myself was, what would he do? Like, what would he want me to do? It's like my whole life was just laid out in front of me. But now, I should have came around more. I know dad was mad at me when I left the church. I hate... That he died disappointed in me. But that we also see that this is a burden that he had. Mm-hmm. This whole, like all season, one of the biggest giants that he had to deal with. Right, because he said he he knew that his dad was mad at him for leaving the church. Mm-hmm. So he feels like his dad was ashamed of him because he's kind of like not honoring his life the way he's living his life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, exploiting. If his dad could see him now. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. My gosh. Mm-mm. So then the mom tells him, you know, your father was proud of you. And you need you need to be more proud of yourself. Yeah. And yeah. find out, you know, what mark you want to make and what mark you want to leave in this world. Yeah. And she's like, figure that out and you'll be all right. So next team, we go to Quasi in a day. So a day's like, listen, um, I'm here. I got I'm my here. act together. <laughs> I'm here. You told me to give you a call. <laughs> I'm ready. And I'm here. So what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Like, I got everything together. When's your next opening? What's up? <laughs> what's good? And you know what's crazy? Quasi didn't have to say a word. And I already knew he's not with it. Yeah. I already Just knew. from his facial expression. And it's like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good for you. Like, I was like... This ain't this ain't gonna go. It's not this gonna ain't work. gonna go. He's quasi not the type to just be. He's thirty two. Yeah, he doesn't do <laughs> hookup talk. Okay, he said this before. He does not wait around. He ain't got like, time no. for this young man. And he he's even said like you know I was hyped to see you, but listening to you, <laughs> mm. I can see you. You pretty much did this. For me, <laughs> but and not really for the, yourself. He was just like, it's not enough. Like I'm proud of what you did, but it's not enough. But like, you're just figuring yourself out. He said, I'm, I'm on. Here. You on stage one. I wrote the book. I'm on pride. He said, you're at acceptance. I'm at pride. <laughs> Get on my level. <laughs> we on different paths. So good luck and stay blessed. Stay black. Stay blessed. Stay beautiful. It's all of it. Check. <laughs> um. Do you want to take care of the check or should I? <laughs> 
You know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> because I'm on at Pride. <laughs> I'm on Pride. I'm at I'm 32. I don't do hookup talk. And I'm at Pride. <laughs> so Thank you. Thank you. But that was really mature of Quasi. But look at how disappointed a day he's so, was. He's so disappointed. He he's so approval. hurt. Everywhere he goes, <sighs> young man. But he's doing this. But he needs to do it for himself. That's what I'm saying. It sounds but like then, you did this for Quasi. Because he knew he wanted to be with Quasi. Mm-hmm. But I think it's best that he does all this, accept it for real, and then date or whatever. Because yeah. you really, you still don't you, know. You accepting it is one thing. You having to tell someone, oh, look how proud I am now. Like, yeah, okay, it's, it's that's not, good for you. Not there yet. You're, You're not, not really there that yet. proud then. You're not there yet. Because you don't have that's to. That's why he's not at pride. Anyone. He's yeah. not at pride. He's on level one. <laughs> Maybe two. That's why Quasi was just like, uh huh. I, I hear you. Okay. Like, because he was like, this is what I do for my job. I feel like I'm at work. <laughs> I feel like I'm at work. But no one's paying I me. I want to clock time. out. <laughs> Are you gonna pay me? I have to pay for the bill, and I gotta hear this. This is no, crazy. I don't want to. So, and it was unfortunate because you know I love Quade, Quasi in the oh, day. They were adorable together, but he's at prime. I get it though. I definitely, definitely get, get it. it. I definitely get it. I want some young person come to me talking about, "Hey, I'm all ready." Okay, that's that's amazing. I. <laughs> I got hired for my internship. Great. <laughs> I'm at Pride. I don't know where you are. <laughs> I turn 21 next month. <laughs> and then get out of my face. <laughs> Go ahead. So Journey's at her therapist's office having, having a panic attack. Anxiety attack. <laughs> anxiety attack, panic attack. attack. All the attacks. <laughs> yeah. Um And... She, because she has a presentation coming up at work, and she's freaking out. Like, mm-hmm. okay. so she talks about the comparison of her presentation to her church performances when she was a kid, because mm-hmm. it's just like you know she go on stage, and even if she messed up, her mom was there at the at the end, like you did a good job, girl, you did it, you did it. And then the one year where she actually did perfect, nobody was there to say you did good. Yeah, because like, her mom no, had passed. Her away mom had passed time. away. Yeah, and even her dad, he was like. You know, give a head nod, like, that was cool. So that, like, really hurt. And I think that's what really, another, like, triggering thing, like, she needs validation at every mm. point in her life, you know? All three of them do. My gosh. Yeah. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> Again, doctor is not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> he said, who bought your dress? You know, Journey, part of life is understanding that love comes in many forms. Okay, now, just because... A person doesn't love you the way you want doesn't mean they don't love you. But I like that because it's like, it's like love language, you know, just because, you know, she wants somebody to be like, you did good, you did good. But mm-hmm. the way her dad says she did good, that head nod, that's his way he says good. Yeah. So you have to accept that. Not everybody's the same. Right. But I mean, at the time she was a child, so yeah. she didn't get that. Mm-hmm. So... The therapist makes her realize that her mom was her champion, but her dad is also there for her, too, in his own little way. Mm -hmm. And she just has to learn to be there for herself. Yeah, yeah. But I get that. I relate to, like, with my granddad. Everybody jokes, like, I was his favorite. Like, he was the number... I was, you know, he. I was his number one fan. He was my number one fan. So it's like... I mean, my family is always supportive and, like, you know, cheerleader. But it's like, it's just different. It's just different. Mm. But... It's it's real. It's real. Mm-hmm. So very relatable scene. But I did like what doctor said about the giants. Yes. I said, "Oh, preach! You might preach to that girl." He says, "Some giants you slay, and some you tame. You live with them, acknowledge them. You say, hey. hey. and you push right past push them. through, and you say, what? <laughs> you are enough. enough. Say it again. I am strong. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that from the help? Yes. Yes. I am God. strong. I'm I am you enough. You are enough. Enough. So and you good. have to be the one to believe me, that. I want the number to this therapist because he just, he know what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So next scene, we go to a day and Mel. You still talking about this? 
a day is. When I all- saw this, I was just like, we're, we're here again. We're here again. It never was settled. So a day, he's on a roll. He's, he's like on a roll. I don't know about y'all, but I'm slaying all my giants he's today. New new. Okay. And I'm, I'm slaying on that new new. <laughs> that there was talking about tame. I'm not taming anything. I'm slaying, slaying. Taking so he, care of all my problems. All today. of them today. That's only literally <laughs> in one day. He's taking care of everything. Day. So he goes to talk to Mel and he apologizes for everything, how he hurt her feelings, and she accepted his apology. But first of all, she asked all, him about Quasi. Why are you checking for my man? <laughs> number one. <laughs> number one. And number two, I didn't like how as soon as he apologized, she was like, Yes, yes like, why are you doing like, this? Slay. Why work, are you doing work. this? <laughs> like, are you about to do a death drop? Why, next? why are you doing are this? Are you about to start voguing? We're not Stop there it. yet. Stop it. We're Stop not it. there yet stop it this they shit is so now. extra i guess i guess they they besties again mm, they didn't tell you, you that, that was gonna happen <laughs> right right we did predict this i knew i knew he was gonna apologize of course and she was gonna be like yes bitch, mm-hmm. but she also ended up apologizing as well because she knew she was wrong like yes, trying to girl, out him at every the corner absolute most the because most. you found out he's gay sit your ass she was hurt down. but you could be hurt in silence like I mean, come on. She was like being vengeful. The, doing the absolute most. Yeah. So now they besties. I guess. Not I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so then we go to. Hey, yo, what up? Hey, yo, what up? We see our boy Woody McClain. Yeah. yeah. We just want to say on record that when we were at um, Urban Web. Mm-hmm. Urban Web I saw the Summit. Vibes. I saw the vibes done. I mean, we was having a vibe or whatever, but he did say his favorite web series was Giant. So mm-hmm. we but he didn't tell us he was going to be in it. Maybe he did he, not say. Maybe he didn't know. Maybe, maybe he didn't get there yet. But maybe when we posted it, James Landon was like, oh, word, oh, come through. Okay. And she's familiar. Who is she? Nelly So Funny on Instagram. Oh, my gosh. That is her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shout out, shout out to the All Star cast. <laughs> <laughs> he somebody? <laughs> I don't know who that was. Okay. <laughs> Talking about say something. Spit real quick. Right? Like, don't put me on the spot, young man. Go do your homework. How about that? Go do your homework. <laughs> they put him on the spot. Yes. But he said no problem. He said, I still got it. What's up? I, I wrote a new one this morning. And I loved it, too. So I did love it. it. And I was glad that he picked up the pen again. Yeah, he wasn't writing poetry for a minute. He said, you know? I've been working on this piece. I said, when? We ain't see you do nothing. <laughs> I ain't see you pick up the pen. Out here thirst trapping. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> when you have time, when did you do maybe on the plane. Maybe. I <laughs> but I love that he finally mentioned God. Like yes. he's learning to accept God back yes. into his life. Yeah, my, the last line: "What God has for me is greater than anything my imagination can conceive." I said, "Amen." That's deep, especially coming from, from him. Yes, because he yes. was very much like, "I want nothing to do with this church. <laughs> nothing with this church." Nothing and I don't know church. what God talking about, but I'm trying to do my own thing. Yes. But. That path you was on, mm-hmm. it wasn't it. Trust in the Lord. Amen. Uh-huh. So good good things that come his way. Good things. <laughs> and Journey, she also did a good job. It starts off a little rocky. Yes. But she made it through. She made it through. And everyone ended up telling her good job, good yes. job, which is what she wanted. And then which, she got a which call. she thought she needed. Saying her dad even co-signed on the apartment for her. She's like. Good day. Yes. It's a good true. day. And then um, Journey calls a day. She wants to paint in above the couch. He said, girl, no. You tried it. <laughs> um, and then he looked at the painting of Malachi. I didn't hear that part. Yeah. He... Oh, that was the painting? Okay, what? The, the girl, the painting above the couch with the boys, she wanted that. But he looked at the painting of Malachi and... I think he was probably like, she probably could have this one. He don't want this one. <laughs> and so he goes, he takes that down. And then he goes on the gram and sees Quasi in the suit and tie. Too. See him in the suit and tie. Yes. But did you peep? It said, liked by Issa Rae and Jesse Small. I did peep that. I said, okay, okay, y'all. Y'all gonna crop that out. Why? Okay. <laughs> he famous. He famous. Okay. So then he's like, you know what? Rep- repost. I'm new, new. I'm new, new. Repost. This is my MCM Man <laughs> Crush Monday. It's, it's probably a Thursday. I don't care. Man don't Crush care Monday. What day it is. MCM. Okay. This is my man. He said, Hello, world. This is my man. And I don't care what anyone has to say. I said, Yes. So a, another giant slave. Come on. He, he, raised, said, What's up, he came out to the world. He did. On social media. He said, Giants, what up? Mm hmm. So Malachi gets a call and he thought it was Journey because the it, way he jumped up to the phone. What's his boy's name? Why? Walter. 
Anyway, so Malachi gets a call and he thought it was Journey. He he got real quick to the phone. Jumped up. Jumped up. He's like, <laughs> but it was Walter. <laughs> so I'm like, hey man, thank yo. You, you know, he in the stew. He in the stew. He thanks him for everything. And you know, he uh what's your name? Malachi apologized for like putting you in this life. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're gonna stay and connected. Walter apologize. Well, that's the name, right? Walter. Walter. He apologized for being stupid. Stupid. <laughs> you you a fool. I'm out five grand because of, of you. You I had to sell my daddy's car. Yes, but then again, it's kind of a good thing that's happening. It was kind of a wake up call. Also. It was. It was. And that he, he's out the business. That that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so then we go to it's our final back in the day. We go to 2013. Mm-hmm. So we're at the repast for um, Malachi's dad's funeral. And um, his cousin is saying all the things you're supposed to say. But you could tell Malachi just, I don't want to hear none of that. Especially from you. Right? <laughs> Especially from you. Um, in the future, you ruined my life. In the future. Future me? <laughs> Would have nothing to do with you. <laughs> So I'm, that's why I'm getting up and I'm going to walk outside to my dad's car. I'm leaving. <clears throat> so yeah, so Journey follows him and he, Malachi breaks down. He lets out the loudest scream ever. And I felt that. I felt that. Like my mom had to do that too. Like she said she was in the car with her friend. Her friend said, let it out. Put down the window. She let out the loudest scream. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you just got to let yeah, it out. My mom did that too. Yeah. My you my just have to. Away. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's just. You a belief, to, yeah, yeah. He he feels like a part of him is gone, yeah. And that I was just like, oh my gosh, I felt that in my mm-hmm, heart, like, oh my mm-hmm. god, there's a part oh. of him. It almost feels like, like my heart is has just been ripped off my fucking chest. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, I don't. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. That was it was emotional. He broke down. down. He did. Like, he's he six, did. Six, she's about five two. <sighs> he broke down. And again, you can see, like, no matter what they go through, I They're got your back. I got your back. Always. Mm, so, powerful. Yeah. And that's the finale, y'all. Yeah. So that it's sad that this is how things are now. I know. Let's get into a question, comments, and concerns. Okay, do you think Malachi and Journey can save their friendship? Like, we see that they always go back to each other, no matter what. Yeah. This, but now, like, even Journey has said, this time feels different. That's what she said to her friend. This time feels different because she fin- they finally spoke up to each other about right. what they've been holding in this right. entire time. So, I don't know if they've just been in each other's lives because... Out of guilt or something? No, I think it's a genuine friendship. Because they were friends before they started dating. Right. And then when she got pregnant, he didn't see her the same way. But he felt like, you know, I still need to be with this girl, even though low-key, I'm mad at her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's just because they have that friendship. I think it's one of those friendships, like, I can't even imagine not talking to you. But they're not talking right now. But Journey's not talking to him. Because he's trying to talk to her. Like, I need you. Has he apologized? No. No, but he wants to know what's up. Why aren't you answering my calls? Hey, stranger, what? It's crazy. It is crazy. Um, I'm proud of a day. He's really you know doing no. it. He's doing it. He is no no. I'm handy so street. glad he met Quasi because Quasi get, him put him on the path. Mm, that's what Quasi does. That's what he does for me. But then he, he said, "I feel like I'm doing my job, and I ain't got time." I just want to chill. I just want to chill. I thought he was coming here just to enjoy some cupcakes and some coffee. Yet I'm working twenty four seven with you. With you, <laughs> just constantly working with you. Oh my god! Uh, but Quasi needs to understand that it's a work in progress. He like you know, he understands. That, he's been through that. But he's like, I don't have to. I don't want to deal with. That. I don't have to teach you. I don't got time for that. Like no. I'll I'll teach age? you, but I'm not going to date you and teach you. I yeah, can't that's do exhausting. That. I'm not taking my work home. <laughs> that's where I go to relax. <laughs> I don't want to know that. 
And uh, I hope a day understands that, which I think he does, but he's still going to shoot his shot. Oh, of course. Because, like, I never met a man like this man, okay? <laughs> okay? This is a man. This is a man. Quasi right is a man. It's a man right there. <laughs> <laughs> but Quasi's not playing. Mm-hmm. You got to really show me that you're at pride. Yeah, I want to see you. To my the, level. I want to see you in the big. In- <laughs> In the front of the line at the parade. That's why I want to see you. Exactly. So at this point, again, is he doing this for himself or is he doing this to win Quasi? I think he's doing it for both. Like he's doing it for himself. But if I get Quasi too, that's a plus. Mm. But it needs to be more so for himself. Like really being out and open for yourself. Learning to accept yourself. Being proud of yourself. Mm-hmm. And he- I mean, he's gonna get there, but he doesn't. He doesn't know the stages. He's like stages. I didn't even know. <laughs> he said, "You're." You said I'm at stage one. Stage wait, what? Acceptance. Page? Where's the Where's book? Where's the book? Can I find it at Barnes and Nobles? <laughs> Does Amazon have it? Does Amazon Is it on Kindle? Because <laughs> I got the app. I have the app. I have the app. So if you could just tell me, I can get to it. I can get to it. I want to get to your stage. I got Prime too. They can ship it to me in two days. <laughs> Whichever you prefer. Whichever one. I got, I I got it across the street from Barnes & Noble. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> he just want to know. He just, just want to know. know. Poor baby. So he's going to learn. He's going to learn. Mm-hmm. So we have a QCC from my girl, Bianca. She says, will a day continue to shoot his shot with Quasi? Because I saw that repost. He making okay. bold moves. Oh, okay. <laughs> girl. Will Journey and her father work out whatever differences they have to being... Will Journey and her father work out whatever differences they have to have a better relationship? And is Malachi staying in Atlanta? So we spoke about a day in Quasi. She, yeah, so about Journey and her father. I I hope they work it out. Yeah. I just think it's more of a um the dad needs to be more emotional available. Emotionally available. That's the word. Uh-huh. And Journey needs to accept how he is maybe that is a a good point but 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 uh, um when he mentioned like he didn't want to say malachi's name so he obviously knows i don't know if he knows if you know she had the abortion we don't know if her father knows that or not um and if he if he did know did he think that it was malachi's did he think that malachi told her to get an abortion like what's his deal with malachi or does he just not like Malachi because he knows his daughter really liked this guy and then they had some kind of falling out? I think it's just one of those things where it's like, that boy, like, you know, He's your parents. He's been around for he, so long. Yeah. That's like her best friend, though. Yeah. So I don't think he would look at him like that boy unless he thinks Malachi did something. But to I her. don't know because it, it's weird because, like, my cousin, she has a guy best friend, but we never met him. Like the family's always like, mm, who's that boy? But that's her best friend. Like they go to Greece. They go to they're about to go to Thailand together, but we never met him. Are they dating? They're not dating. <laughs> that's why the family's like, who's this guy? But why does she want to bring him around? He just lives he lives like deep. So it's just it, I can kind of see where I just like, okay. Uh I don't know. The way the dad said that boy, and she was just like, you know his name, like really defending him mm-hmm. as if Something may may have happened. He may know. He may know. But since I don't think that a day, I mean, Journey and her dad are that close that she even told her dad about the abortion. That's what I'm saying. I don't don't know if he knows or not. But it could be the whole, like, we were dating, it's off. Maybe she did vent to her dad one day. Who knows? We don't really know. Season three, what's up? Season three, what it do? (laughs) And is Malachi staying in Atlanta? Is he? Because he seen, he asked um, Woody McClain, like, y'all hiring? What's <laughs> he up? He shouldn't have did. I need a job. And a day told his friend, like, Malachi left. He yeah. Went Ma- home. He went home. So he probably needs to stay. He does need to stay home for Be with his mom. Yeah. He, he has a community there that's like, he's the, he's the king Spoken motivation. He when he went there, everybody's like, "Isn't your picture on the wall? Isn't this? Isn't that?" He's yeah, the he guy was the man. back there. He was that guy, and that's what he's missing in in LA. Validation. Yes. Told you they all need it. Yes, yes. They all but need fans. more more of a purpose. He okay. has more of a purpose here in Atlanta, LA. He just like so. What should I do? <laughs> like he's just here to be here. 
in LA, in, in LA, in LA, he had to work for it. Yeah. And he don't want to do that. He don't want to do that. And Atlanta's kind of already. Atlanta, he got his fan base. He got his fan base. <laughs> <laughs> He's the man. He's pouring out there in Atlanta. <laughs> He's like, why would I go to LA when they want me out here? He might stay in Atlanta. And oh my God, that'll be the end no. of. <laughs> he he going to go back to LA. Yeah. For what? He don't got a house. Where he going to sleep? He ain't got no money. Shit might. He don't have his, any money. His friendship with Journey might get better. Okay. Like they just have to work on that. That's nice. He had the friend. Where is he living? Of course, she's going to be like, you can stay with me. She got her own apartment now. She's that girl now. <laughs> she's that girl. Okay. But because she's that girl, she's probably like, no. She boundaries. Might, she might be the new new. <laughs> she's going to be like, boundaries. She might say that. But they've been best friends for so long, like you said. So. But she also said it's different. It's different for her because Malachi don't know what the hell the problem. He's like, "What happened? <laughs> Why are you mad? Why? Why does she want to talk to me? What did what? I say? I know I asked. What? Like he's confused. Did he forget? Well, he was drunk. He threw that money but, in my face. <laughs> <laughs> but um, a day showed the receipts, so he know what went down. But he don't know what went down when she when he was talking with Journey. He threw money in her face yeah. and told her, "You didn't wait for me." Yeah. We'll see. Oh my goodness! But yeah, um, overall exceptional season. Of course, I'm excited. Hopefully, we get us. We're gonna get a season three. We better get a season three. The way they think. Hello, y'all. Hey, y'all. Um. So yeah. So yeah. We went through all the emotions and all of the emotions. It was exceptional. Like they made us think about our lives. Mm-hmm. How bad they. We had a, a few brief setbacks, but we're gonna we're we gonna be all right. We're finding we have our mark. We're leaving our mark. We're, gonna we're leaving work our it mark. Out. We're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it out. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I just wanna say thank you, Giants team, for um, giving me Ritz, aka Lawrence, like and Quasi too, because he gave us comedy, just yeah. straight comedy yeah. with the I'm 32, that's hookup, hookup talk. talk. All of it. Get to my level. Yeah. I'm at pride. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> I'm not doing teaching on off hours. <laughs> Quasi, you the homie. So um, thank you for both of those fine specimen of men. <laughs> specimen. <laughs> She's annoying, um, We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, and hope to... See, well, I know we ain't going to see Red season three, but... We might. We, he might do a pop-up. He, he live in the day building. <laughs> You think he right? No, but she moved. But he lived oh, in the day. day but yeah, a day might be like you, Lawrence. Right? <laughs> a day might shoot his shot. The no, way he acting out here, no. he knew me. <laughs> but Lawrence would cut it off right there, like whoa, whoa. Bro. No, first of all, Bianca would be right there, like hey. hey. <laughs> oh my god, you live in the building. But if that was my man, that would be me. I'll be on the Bianca. <laughs> hey, that's my man. Uh, but this yeah. is your type. Oh my Plaid god! Shirt, shut up. <laughs> Jay Crew <Crewe> on them. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> oh my god! I never noticed this before. Can you get off his page, please. No. <laughs> You're okay. annoying. You're annoying. So okay. all in all, um, great season, and we are looking forward to more. And men. I'll, we're I'll looking forward to more, more men. men, more fine specimens, and I'll yes. keep you updated if you know. Lawrence, if you want to slide into um, the DMs, it's true underscore fashionista. T R U underscore fashionista on IG. Hey, Brittany on Twitter. <laughs> All right, y'all. What about Facebook? People like to connect All right, on that's Facebook. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it for Giants. Um, it's been amazing. Uh, we're starting a new show next week. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys are. Following us on all social media platforms. Make sure you guys are subscribed to our newsletter. You can subscribe on our website at seriouslypodcast.com. That's where we're going to be dropping everything that's going on within the Seriously brand. Thanks, guys, for supporting us Mm. and for listening. Until next week. Bye. Bye.